The Huronia Museum has almost one million items, not only here on the exhibit floor, but also in storage. And each one of those items has to be painstakingly recorded and taken good care of. It doesn't take a lot of math to realize that at a million items, that's a lot of work. And the Huronia Museum couldn't do all that work without the tireless efforts of its many curatorial volunteers. I spoke to collections manager Genevieve Carter about exactly how important those volunteers are to the museum. They're invaluable. We get such a large uh, volume of uh, objects that are donated to the museum that it would be impossible. We'd be years and years and years behind if it was just up to me to, uh, as a collections manager, to uh, accession, to process the objects. I've been volunteering for the last 14 years. I was bitten by the word archaeology and uh, I came in and did a lot of uh, accessioning of potchers and uh, accessioning each piece. So uh, there's a lot of that. Uh, keeps me busy and I'm interested in what I'm doing. We've got one study volunteer, Ramon, and then on any other time we've got uh, maybe two or three other, other volunteers or co-op students from uh, the local high schools, either MSS or St. Teresa's, will be volunteering with us. Well, I'm a co-op student at St. Teresa's High School and I'm interested in curatorial studies and this is a great start for me. I do things like I put items away and I get to accession them and I get to write descriptions and I help set up displays that we have in the museum, like the Thor Hansen display. I recently helped set up that. Uh, right now I'm accessioning envelopes from W. H. F. Russell, the Georgian Bay Lumber Company. For the, for the future, for the, our grandkids, let's say, if ever they come back and want to research a certain topic, then it's good to have it on a database. Um, I hope to end up in a larger museum. Like, I'm really into art history and I just love old artifacts and art. And it's really great. If you have an idea and you can look back on other people's ideas and you can grow from that, and I use that almost every day, like, it's quite amazing to look back and see that people thought the exact same way we did now. Well, I'd say that we're not rigid. We're pretty flexible and that if there's any one aspect of the processing um, or, or any part of the museum that you're interested in, in working in, you're certainly welcome to come in and try it out. There's all sorts of uh, work to be done. There's processing artifacts. There's entering all the information into the database. Uh, there's working on exhibits. There's doing research. Uh, there's also work in the, um, the resource center on um, uh, building local genealogies. So there's a lot of work to be done here and, and you just slot yourself in, I guess, where you feel comfortable. And if you feel you'd like to volunteer at the Huronia Museum, please contact us at huroniamuseum.com or at our Facebook page, facebook.com slash huroniamuseum. Or why not just drop on by and see us. We're at 549 Little Lake Park Road right here in Midland.